This video is about set operations for 7th graders. 7th graders, this is your virtual classroom. The following are some simple reminders to make your learning as fruitful as possible. Prepare a sheet of paper and a pen for answering the exercises. To ensure that you understand and follow through the concepts in the video, just pause and replay the video as needed. Now you are ready. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Use Venn diagram to illustrate set operations. Perform set operations involving two sets. And determine the cardinality as a result of the set operations. Now, let's begin. Always remember that cardinality refers to the total number of objects in a set. It is denoted by the small letter N. The conjunction AND denotes the intersection of sets, which is denoted by this symbol. And lastly, the conjunction OR denotes the union of sets, which is again denoted by this symbol. What's new? Intersection, union, and difference of two sets can be illustrated using this figure on the screen. Guess the name of the figure by unscrambling the letters N E, V, N for the first word and A, D, G, M, A, I, R for the second word. You can pause this video to think for the answer. Now, are you ready? Alright, let's check your answer. Wow, that's amazing! The answer is Venn Diagram. Now let's see how Venn Diagram will help us in our lesson for this video. For you to properly understand the lesson, let us study the examples given for intersection of sets, union of sets, and difference of two sets. Let's begin with the intersection of sets. We have two sets, A and B. Putting them together, we can see that there are elements in set A that are found in set B. Notice that? So, we shade them. Now, this time, the shaded part shows the intersection of set A and set B. And so, we write it as the intersection of sets A and B is 4 and 5. Look at this. 4 and 5, which belongs to the shaded region. And so, the cardinality of that intersection is the cardinality of the intersection of sets A and B is 2. There are two elements in that new set, in that intersection of the sets. So, let us define intersection of sets. It is the set containing the common elements of two or more sets. 4 and 5 are common between set A 
and set B. And of course, it is denoted by this symbol. You got it? Great! Now let me show you more examples. We have here a universal set which contains set P and set Q. Set P has elements 3, 9, 15, 12, 6, and 18. Set Q has elements 12, 6, 18, 10, 2, 4, 16, 8, 14. What is their intersection? That is right. The shaded region is the intersection. And so we have the intersection of P and Q is 12, 6, and 18. And the cardinality of that intersection is 3. Good job! Let's have another example. This time, I am going to give you the union of the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 12. And we have set A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And set B 1, 3, 9, 12. Now, can you show me how this is going to be represented in the Venn diagram? You can pause this part of the video. And there you have it. Let me show you if we have the same answer. That's great! So, the intersection of set A and set B contains 1 and 3. The intersection of set A and set B is 1 and 3. And the cardinality is 2. You are amazing! What is union of sets? We have set A and set B. Now this time, we are looking for their union. So, we are going to shade both regions. You can see that when both regions are shaded, the union of set A and set B contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. Notice that even if set A has 4, 5 and set B has 4, 5, when you write the elements, it does not repeat. The result of the intersection of set A and B only has 1, 4 and 1, 5. So, when you write it down in a roster or listing method, Repetition is not allowed. And so, what is the cardinality of the union of set A and set B? That is right. The cardinality is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 elements in the set. So, the definition of the union of sets is the set containing all the elements of two or more sets. And it is denoted by this symbol. You are getting good at it. Now let's have some examples. We have here the universal set with set P and set Q. Set P contains the elements 3, 15, 9, 12, 6, 18. And set Q contains 12, 6, 18, 10, 2, 14, 4, 16, and 8. The union of set P and Q is 3, 9, 15, 12, 6, 18, 10, 2, 14, 4, 16, 8. And so, the cardinality of this union is 12. This time, let's do the reverse. I am going to give you sets A and B and show me how it is going to be represented with the Venn diagram. 
you can pause this video to solve for your answer. Are you ready? Now let me show you mine. Congratulations, we have the same answer. So, the union of set A and B contains 7, 2, 5, 1, 8. And their cardinality, the cardinality of the union of sets A and B is 5. Lastly, we have the difference of two sets. Now, in mathematics, the difference is not commutative. And so, A minus B is not the same as B minus A. So, let's talk about that one by one. For case number one, we have A minus B, which means that we are going to subtract A this is our A. Our A contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our B contains 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. We are going to subtract our A with our B. So since A and B both has 4 and 5, when we subtract B from A, 4 and 5 is taken away from A. And so therefore, A minus B is 1, 2, and 3. And the cardinality is 3. Now, let's go to B minus A. For B minus A, again, A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and B has the elements 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. Sets A and B both have 4 and 5. So, when we are going to subtract A from B, 4 and 5 will be taken away from set B. In roster listing method, B minus A is equal to 7, 8, 9. And the cardinality for the difference of B and A is 3. I hope that is already clear to you. Again, you can pause and replay this video at any point at any time. Now it's your turn. Activity 1.4 Instructions Perform the indicated set operation and determine the cardinality. Write the corresponding elements on the two circles and shade correspondingly. Set A has 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Set B has 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. Set C has 5, 10, 15, 20. And set D has 10, 20, 30. You have 8 numbers to work on. So again, perform the set operation. Write your answer on the blank. And of course, please get the cardinality and also write the answer on the blank. And of course, please submit your work on time. These are the things that you need to remember. The Venn diagram is used to simply illustrate set operations like the intersection of sets, the union of sets, and the difference of two sets. Repetition of elements is not allowed when writing in roster or listing method. For example, we have sets A and B, the union is not 7251825 but 72518 and of course the cardinality of elements in a set is based on the number of elements in the set what you can do has two parts let's get real and i can do more for let's get real look around and list distinct elements or objects that you will find. 
again, use a separate sheet of paper. So, we have four numbers here. For example, set A is the set where X such that X is a utensil in your kitchen. Write down the utensils that you find in your kitchen. For set B, I can do more. Draw a star if the statement is always true. Otherwise, just put X. Justify your answer by presenting an illustration or an explanation. And please don't forget to use a separate sheet of paper. This time, you have five numbers to work on. Congratulations! You just finished the video. And that is the end of the first module. Once again, this has been teacher Miss Mary Kate. Get involved and keep on learning.